Hi. This is Shirley from Shirley's World. And I come on here every Sunday at 4 o'clock to show you what I sold the past week. Uh, this quarter has been quite slow. Really slow. <laughs> and uh, this week was no different. It's slow. I think I've sold uh, 11... 11 or 12 items. I sold a couple more here, but uh, they'll go on next week's because they came in just a little bit ago. I didn't have time to pull the tab. So uh, I will show you what I sold uh, from last part of last Sunday till uh, early this morning. There's a couple on from early this morning. So as soon as some people come on here, I will get started. Uh, as I was waking up this morning, I had this brilliant idea, I thought, <laughs> that maybe I should do some YouTube, have another YouTube channel and uh, a decluttering channel. I'd call it mutter clutter. <laughs> Um, because I could actually film it and have a YouTube, because there's a lot of uh, cleaning and decluttering channels that do really well. This would just be a YouTube thing, and uh, really nothing to do with reselling, except I'd probably find some things that I could uh, resell. Hi, Bumblebee. Uh, yeah, decluttering channel. And I thought I had this great idea that I could sort of film this me decluttering. And at the same time, I'd be actually decluttering and cleaning. And I could do this a little bit, just little spaces at a time. And uh, I could do it almost every day or every other day. But then I turned to uh, Chris's channel on YouTube daily refinement and he's talking about how you should use your time to the best to make the most money well YouTube is not the best way to make money so uh, you know that would be just a side thing to see how well it did and to actually get uh, get some decluttering done but I listened to several of Chris's YouTube things today, earlier, early this morning. And, uh, yeah. Then as I was doing my inventory, I finished another bin. As I doing my inventory, I was thinking, I wonder if he has free shipping. And I thought to myself, I could try that because I've tried. So far, since the beginning of the year, up until right now, and it's been two months, I've tried the, uh, the, a big amount of promoted listings. Everything's on promoted listings, and it's trending plus 2%. So that's a lot more than I've ever done. Now, it does, I mean, the things that are selling course are promoted listings because everything's promoted listings but uh it looks like it's doing its job but really when you think about it, if everything's promoted listings of course anything you sell is going to be promoted so i don't know so anyway maybe that will get what gets you monetized maybe yeah uh so I was thinking of um, maybe he has free shipping. So I went on and looked at his public store. One of his stores, he, he has huge stores. One of his stores is the one he lets you see. It's a public store. And he doesn't sell anything fancy. He sells mall brand things. Things are easy to get, but he just 
lists and sells a huge amount of them. He lists a huge amount. I mean, he lists 100 to 200 things a day. I I don't even know what how many things are on his in his stores. A lot, but you know, he also makes a lot of money. Uh, I he has people working for him too. He has three that I that I pretty much that he talked about today. So uh, I don't have anybody. It's just me. Uh, so I went on his store, and he does not have free shipping. He charges seven ninety nine for everything. He, sh I think he mentioned that he sends everything, whether it's first class or not. He sends everything priority shipping, and charges the same amount. Uh so I'm not sure how that works because some things are going to be more and some things, of course, don't need priority shipping. But the way he was talking, I think he sends it priority shipping anyway, even if it's first class, because most clothing is first class. But he charges $7.99. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to go back and listen to that one about how he ships uh, anyway, I was surprised because I thought that was what, why he makes so much money. Maybe he has free shipping like, um, Ryan Roots, you know, they have free shipping on everything. A number, and I think Rockstar Flipper has free shipping. And I think, um, uh, Star at Flippin' Hippos. I think most most of her, all of her first class things are free shipping. I think she charges shipping on priority things, which I could also do. Uh, so I don't know. I'm just thinking of doing, since this uh, dry spell is lasting so long, I'm thinking of some other things that I could try. Uh, I don't think the priority shipping, I hate to stop stop it. Suzanne A. Well says give it a lot of time. So two months is she probably will say make it three or four months. So I don't know. He probably feels people want their items quicker. Most things fit in a flat rate envelope. Right, yeah. He he ships in a padded flat rate, I think he mentioned. Everything, most everything goes in a padded flat rate. But yeah, some clothes could go in a regular uh, envelope, which is uh, about a dollar and a half cheaper, maybe even two dollars cheaper than a padded flat rate. So I'll have to go on and really look at some of his listings a little more carefully. Uh, yeah, I was, I listened to like three hours of him this morning when I got up. He had me all enthused. Uh, he's great at time management also. Anyway, I sold, I think... What I'm going to show you here, I think there's 11 or 12 things. Uh, then I sold two more things right there. I've already pulled them, and they're in the bin to be picked up tomorrow. But uh, I didn't get them put on the tab, so I'll tell you about them uh, next week. It's, uh, it was a sweater and a pair of jeans is what it was. Uh so, nobody else is here but us, Bumblebee. He uses the cardboard envelope if it fits. Yeah, probably. I have trouble getting those closed. Because unless it's absolutely flat, it hardly reaches to where the sticky thing is. Like if it's... 
I know you can you can tape it, but it's uh, if if it's you know like say you put a sweater in there, not a big sweater, but you know even a small lightweight sweater, it's going to make a big hump, and then I can't get the envelope closed. So I don't know. Maybe he uses all the the uh, legal sizes. I I don't know. I have to look. I have to look when I go on to look at more about his store. I will look at each item and see what he does. Uh. Anyway, let's go to show you what I sold. <clears throat> I'm going to share. Uh, I hope it's on this thing here. You'll laugh at this first thing. <laughs> uh, Bumblebee. Yeah, look at here. This is from that box. Uh, anti-cellulite cream and you'll never guess where this went to this went by GSP so they paid a lot more than $16.99 for this it went to let me tell you they paid an extra $13.96 and then an extra $10.23 so they ended up paying $41.18 for this little box and it went to the United Kingdom, went over to the UK. I remember Suzanne A. Wells. That's one of the reasons she tells you to not use GSP, to use, you know, just regular shipping, uh, international shipping, because it's cheaper for the people. And a lot of people over in the UK and Europe can't get a lot of this stuff so that's what she found she started selling all kinds of things and that's where it all was going so maybe i know i said this before maybe i'll look into that but i haven't yet so let's see what else i sold here hastings and smith this is a silk shirt women's shirt new with tags this was really pretty uh, had the front flat pockets and it sold for a $20 best offer and they paid $4.50 shipping and that went to Cameron, Missouri. The next thing is this nice Nautica sweater, men's sweater, extra large, had a Henley, sort of a Henley neck on it the high neckline and it uh this was heavy have a real heavy knit this is sort of a heather gray yarn and um this sold for 24 dollars best offer and it went to baltimore maryland they paid 885 in shipping see if i'd have free shipping i wouldn't do priority shipping that's just too much to take off of well, I think if you'd have free shipping you couldn't do best offer or you couldn't run you know, like 20% off sales either you know it's one or the other <laughs> so and here finally the bazinga t-shirt sold this uh, I've had for quite a while, and I don't know why this first picture doesn't show up here. It shows up in the listing, but this is what it is right here. It just says Bazinga. It's a black T-shirt, and it's a 2X, unisex 2X, size 2X in this black color. I thought this would sell right away because it is by the Big Bang Theory in inside the... Uh, inside see it says the big bang theory so i thought that this would sell right away and it took about a year to sell 
It sold uh, for a best offer of $14. Uh, you notice I'm not getting any of my prices on these things so far, except for the cellulite cream. <laughs> so that went to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Then this Columbia uh, stretch little hoodie top was mine. Uh, and... I let it go. I have a couple other ones, too. Maybe one's online. I saved one. There were three of them. Exactly the same. I don't know why I didn't save the purple one, because it was my favorite color. Uh, I sent out a best offer for $18.77, and it sold right away for that. And because I had put it on that I paid nothing for it. Really, I had it for over a year, so that becomes mine. So... I don't count it as paying for it after that because I, you know, I wore it. And so uh, this went to Fremont, Ohio, right here in Ohio. Then a polo uh, Ralph Lauren golf shirt in this red and beige plaid. Uh, this was sort of a pretty shirt. It, um, course had long sleeves it went for best offer of $20 which is low for a Ralph Lauren shirt but uh you know when you're not selling anything you you know you lower your prices what you know it makes me think that since I'm not selling anything at my regular prices obviously people are don't want to pay much for things right now so, you know, that's another thing Chris said that he likes to have the lower priced items instead of the, uh, you know, the uh, real expensive things that he, you know, you go out and find and only put them on your site, you know, because people just aren't paying for that kind of thing right now. So maybe not. So. Okay, this was mine. I had a collection of aprons. This was my only vintage one. This was like a, they call them a smock apron. It's full coverage. It covers your back too. See? And it fits almost anybody. And um, has big pockets. Uh, I put on this one size because it didn't really have a size in it. And uh, it sold for the regular price that I put on it for $16.99. And I had interest in this apron the, like an hour after I put it on. It sold the next day. But uh, I wish I had some more aprons. I did put on the aprons I had. I think I had five aprons. Uh, I sold another one down here too. Uh, but this was the only vintage one that I had. And the next thing is a pair of Gap uh, jeans. These are men's jeans, 29 by 33. And uh, they were the style 1969. And they sold for a best offer of $17. And... Uh, they sold, of course, they went prior to shipping for $8. And those went to Los Angeles, California. And I sold a tie. This was a, had acorns all over it, uh, which is the reason it. I picked it up right away when I saw it because my backyard is full of acorns. Not that I was going to wear the tie, but... It just struck, you know, drew my attention to it. It's silk, beautiful silk tie. And somebody bought it for the regular price. I don't have best offers on my ties because they do go free shipping. So $12.99 and it went to New York, New York. And the last thing is this Another little apron of mine. This is a little bib apron with one pocket and these ruffles along the bottom. 
and it just sort of ties around the back. It just covers the front. And it's a lime green with uh, polka dots, and it did have that spot there on the front, which I mentioned. And it sold for, I sent an offer of $8.77. Uh, because another thing, Chris, I sent that offer this morning, and somebody bought it right away. $8.77, because another thing Chris said, you shouldn't have anything open. You should, uh, any, any questions anybody asks, you should answer all questions. You should bring everything down to zero. So nothing is, you know, you don't have any questions. You should have all your, <clears throat> your best offers um, taken care of. Send out all your best offers. They come up every day. And uh, it's another thing he said to do that I went on this morning and did, and I sold this, this apron. So that is what I sold. <clears throat> I didn't add up how much that was, but it's not very much. <laughs> so let me get back here. Yeah. Yeah, that was a cute apron. I have a couple more, a couple that tie, just tie around the waist, you know, that are just, I sort of have held one back because it had like, it has like four pockets. And I thought, well, I bought this one to collect eggs. Maybe I'll just keep it throughout the summer. I bought it to collect eggs and wear outside, but, you know, I've never worn it. I've never used it. So I'm thinking if I haven't used it in a year or last summer, I probably will never use it. I might as well put it on because it's red and white gingham. It's really cute. So I might put that on. Yeah. You think 20 is okay for a thrifted shirt? You believe that one was from you? Yeah. Oh, the red silk was from you. That was a nice shirt. Yeah. Uh, try raising the price on the aprons. Yeah, I didn't think they would really sell at all. I was so surprised when I got an immediate response about the, well, I should have, should have known about the vintage one. Uh, so if I ever get back into the thrift stores, I will keep my eye out for aprons especially vintage aprons. Um, I don't know where I got that one. The rest of them, I think I bought online. I think I bought on Etsy, actually. Uh, also try raising the price like a dollar on my books to be a bit more. Well, I sort of look at the books. They go, I I usually put a dollar more than what they're selling for online. Books sell for practically nothing, you know. It hardly covers the uh, media mail. Because the media mail is always around $3. And, you know, people are selling books for $4.98, you know. You, it's just really to get rid of them, to get things, uh, sales going. Aprons are actually a hot item. Yeah, maybe I'll go on and uh, add a little bit to the, those prices. Yeah, I have been, but I have to think of the selling my books are just, I want to clear these shelves off. You know, the books that I've read and I'm never, or the ones I'll, I know I'll never read. Because right now I just listen to Audible. That's how I get my book reading done. So if I clear these shelves off, I'll have places to put things. <laughs> they won't go empty. Free shipping on the books. Uh, some of, most of them, yes. Most all the books are free shipping because that's what everybody does. 
but then I pay media mail. And that's the cheapest you can get, but uh, yeah. I put media mail, I have free shipping on any CDs I sell or, or books, and then they go media mail. Uh, yep, so that is what I sold. I'm about to list, there was only one thing out of the last bin that wasn't uh, wasn't on at all. These pair of shorts by Buck, Buckle Black. So I just took pictures, and I have to put these shorts on. List them. That'll be a new, like a new listing. So, uh, yeah. So you think I should try the uh, decluttering channel? <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be much it would only be one little space at a time because I don't have the energy to do a lot of cleaning when I watch these de cleaning and decluttering I went on a bunch of them just to look how many followers they have thousands and thousands of followers uh, but they're these are young people, and they're they're cleaning like lots. I don't have enough energy to do that, but I could sit down at the bottom of my bathroom counter and clean out that whole area at one time, or clean out, you know, just like the top of something, clean it off. What I need to do is empty out my whole china closet, china closet, because it is so dusty in there. But you have to take all the dishes out and put them all on my dining room table or into the dishwasher, the things that can go in the dishwasher. Uh, I usually don't do that. I usually would do it once a year when I would have Thanksgiving dinner over here. And then all the dishes would be clean and I would clean out my my uh, china closet, except I don't have dinners over here anymore. So it, it, they have sat in there and everything is dusty as can be. And, uh, but I wouldn't put them back dirty. I would still, run them through the dishwasher, the things that can. You're sort of afraid to put your good china, your antique china through. But um, I've done it, and they've been fine. So that would be probably a real big job to do that. But... If I do this, I will name it. I won't have it on this channel. It'll be have a different name. It'll be on a different, uh, a whole different YouTube channel. Still under my name, but, well, maybe. My name would be on there someplace, but I'd call it something different. This this thing that came to my mind, mutter clutter. I don't know why it came to my mind. They have all kinds of names for these clutter uh, YouTube channels. But anyway, who knows? Maybe I'll maybe I'll put a couple on, see how they do. Uh, yeah, free shipping on the book. I used to have, I heard that Stephen King books were doing really well. Well, I used to have Stephen King, and I don't know what happened to him because they're not here anymore. So I must have sold them a long time ago when I used to sell on eBay before I really sold a lot on eBay <coughs> uh, years ago. Uh yeah, unfortunately, I don't have them anymore. Uh, they always say that the uh, 
nonfiction do better. But actually, the books I've sold, I think most of them have been fiction books. And they've been the mystery writers, the horror mystery writers. So, I don't know. And bundling them together is another good thing to do if they don't get too heavy. Uh, if I bundle them together and they get too heavy, I will charge, put like $4 shipping or something on. Anyway, I'm going to close for now. I have one more thing to list. I'll be done listing for the day. And uh, I have to go feed, finish feeding Dexter and feed my cat. Uh, it's rained most of the day today, but I think it's supposed to not stop uh, by this evening. But it's warm out. It's in the 50s, close to 60. It's quite warm out. I just wish it was sunny. Uh, I put my muck boots on yesterday and uh, picked up some branches and things around the yard. I need I need a yard maintenance person. Uh, I'm willing to pay twenty dollars an hour to get somebody, but I don't know how to advertise for somebody. I don't want just any old anybody just coming over here and you know. So I asked my son if he could uh, find somebody. And he says, you, you need an older guy that's retired and just is bored and wants something to do and likes outdoor work. Well, yeah, how do you find that without advertising? Uh, we have that next door on Facebook, but you never know who's going to see that. And I don't know. I'm not quite sure how to advertise for something on there. Oh, I know. I ask for references. I mean, it could be a teenage high school kid to do it. This is nothing big, you know. They just have to be able to lift, you know, more than I can lift. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to close for now, and I will... Uh, Look for my, uh, look to see if I put some, some weird thing about decluttering on. I'll announce it on Instagram and Facebook if I do. And uh, it'll still have Shirley's World on there someplace. So I'm going to close for now. Because you know who is looking through my doors. And I will, uh, maybe because of the lockdowns, pe yeah, people are reading more. Just like they're doing puzzles more. I have my only puzzle is on, is listed. I used to have a lot of puzzles, but I gave, every time we do a puzzle, my sister and I do puzzles, every time I do a puzzle, I'd send it to my sister, and she would have it then. But I have one new sealed puzzle, and I put it online. Now I sort of felt like doing a puzzle, so I don't know. Maybe I should take it off and just do it. <laughs> okay. I will be back during the week sometime. If not Thursday, I'll be back sometime maybe doing a different video. So thanks for joining, Bumblebee. And uh, how is my box coming along? <laughs> I keep looking at ThreadUp to see if they have any different boxes available. All that's available all the time is the mixed clothing. I may get another one of those. After my second shot, which is uh, after my second vaccine, which is Friday, uh, after I wait a couple weeks, I will start going to Goodwill for short periods of time. 
and uh, get back into thrifting a little bit. I know there's been people out there thrifting this whole time, getting all the good stuff. So I will see you in this next week sometime. Bye.